What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Hill YouTube channel and today is an epic mail call. Got some cool things in from Target and Ringside Collectibles and we're going to open up and take a look at them. And it is brought to you by, as usual, my new book, The Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist. Available now on Amazon.com in paperback, hardcover, and Kindle. Get it now. Keep track of your collection of what you have, want, and need. And also, if you want to get insured, they do want some kind of inventory. That's why I actually created this in the first place for my own inventory. So take advantage of my work and all the hours I put into this and uh, save yourself some time. Get the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist. So, first off, we'll start off with Target. I know what it is. Legends 13 is hitting stores and just as I was starting to find them in stores, they shipped a couple so I know which ones not to buy. Uh, however, this is a uh, target. So I know that this is probably gonna be in horrible condition. So, hold on. I don't think it is actually, let's see. Wow, no packing whatsoever, but it is in good condition. I don't have to return this. I don't have to return this to the store. It is Cowboy Bob Orton, right there from series 13, not even a crease up here. Usually this is completely bent in. Um, wow, I'm actually shocked. Thank you, Target. No packing, I don't know how this survived like this, but whatever. <sighs> Pretty cool. So on the back, as you can see, it's got um, Jake the Snake Roberts, Triple H, Hurricane, who I have, and Jake the Snake Roberts is the chase again. Interesting enough. Um, and I'll read you the copy, it says, the ace cowboy Bob Orton was known for three things, being tough as nails, wearing a cast for an arm injury that oddly never seemed to heal, and acting as bodyguard for his friend Rowdy Roddy Piper. In fact, on March 1st, 1986, he fought Piper's nemesis, Mr. T, in a boxing match, hoping to soften up the movie star. The overconfident Orton let his guard down once too often and resorted to cheating. That backfired, however, leading to the WrestleMania II boxing match of Piper versus Mr. T with Orton in Piper's corner. I'm actually shocked that there's no mention of him being Randy Orton's father. Um, you would think that would be just like a slight little thing in the copy, but I think it's kind of cool that they kind of left Randy out and really focused on just Bob. He comes with a cloth goods vest, removable hat. He's got boxing glove, hands, same old head scan, I believe. Um, but it's real uh, true effects. He's got a removable cast, which I think is a really good touch, and interchangeable hands. Blue trunks, first time with a blue trunks, uh, Bob Wharton, usually it's green. And uh, yeah, so there it is. Cowboy Bob Wharton, series 13. Put him over here, because we're about to fill up this table. From Ringside Collectibles. Um, we got, AEW, Unrivaled, Series 8. Um, I don't think that there's a chase in here. However, this case doesn't look touched or opened. Doesn't look retaped. Usually you can tell if they're like almost retaped. Can take these out. Really excited for this set. Start off, I'll just, you guys will see them first. Very cool. So first up, Mint condition, very happy with that. Number 63 in Series 8, we have Chris Jericho, the pain maker, and this is from Dynamite, October 16, 2019 in Philadelphia, my home. I love the um, I love the rubberized scarf. He's got the inner circle shirt underneath, which I really like. I, oh, I wanted all of the figures in this inner circle shirt. The inner circle shirt, I believe this is the exact same one except uh, from the Series 1, one of a thousand, however, this is not a cloth goods one. I do love the Painmaker paint. I just think that the, uh, I like it. I just think that it's not well executed, um, but it's fine. He's got the, the, the black jacket with the spikes and the red J, the black boots, black tights, knee pads, all that. Um, I mean, I'm happy with a paint maker. I didn't think we were gonna get one because we were this far along. I didn't know if they were gonna do a back, you know, a back reference. And uh, I think this looks really great. He fought um, Darby Allen. Awesome. I like I like Chris Jericho. I'm happy to get more Chris Jerichos. I know you guys 
lot of you don't want the, the, the re-releases, but I, I think they're necessary. I do. So, let's see, put that right there. Next up, who's this? Nice, another one in mint condition. I like this. This is what we like. We like them in good condition. Awesome. We have Chuck Taylor, first time in the line figure. Um, I know they don't call it that for AEW, but I will say that I think this head looks much better in person than it does in pictures. I was kind of like, uh, I'm not too big a fan of that, but he's got a very unique mouth, very wide, big mouth, and I, I think they kind of captured that with this. Uh, the size of his arms, I think, are perfect. I love the open elbow, um, elbow pads, which he wears, which I, so I'm glad that they didn't just give him the other uh, elbow pads. He's got the vest on that says Chuck. Looks like he's just got some green lines down the sides of his pants. Not too much deco, pretty much an all black figure. I think it's interesting. I, I, I hate when they put a picture on the package and it almost looks like the figure. I wish that they would just use a picture of what the figure's depicting or at least edit it kind of like Mattel does. But as you can see on his shirt on the picture, it's a pink Chuck whereas the figure has yellow Chuck. Um, so he's number 66, Chuck Taylor. Here he is on the back, and this is from um, May 25th, 2019, Las Vegas, Nevada. These are all seem to be like uh, 2019 era AEW figures, so. Next one. It's in good shape, yes. Another one in good shape. We got Orange Cassidy, his second figure in the line. It's almost identical to his Series 3 figure. However, he does come with the elbow pad and he comes with a different shirt. It's a best friend shirt. It has him on the back and it says it's from May 27, 2020, Jacksonville, Florida. But it's got him not wearing the best friend shirt, so I don't like that. Like, I think, listen, if you're not gonna make this picture um, portray what the figure is, at least make this one. Make me believe that this is from this event that the figure is depicting. And if this is if this is from this event right here, then it's not depicting this figure. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want this to be what the figure is. Uh, and I don't think that's too much to ask uh, as a mint on card collector. I think that's a simple thing for them to accomplish. Um, so he comes with the interchangeable hands. He's got one pocket hand, one thumb hand. I think that they could have gave us more than that. Um, but yeah, pretty decent. Um, Something a little weird with the lips and the facial hair. I think the coloring is a little, I don't know. I, don't, it's, I, I think I liked the head on series three better. The way that they ap applied the uh, deco. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same head, but I'm saying the deco, I think I prefer. Um, overall, you know what? I like series three better. This is such an unnecessary figure. Unfortunately, I, I hate saying that. Uh, the pretty much only thing that's different is the shirt, and I kind of don't really like the shirt. I'd much rather have the uh, traditional Orange Cassidy face shirt. Um, I feel like, unfortunately, I feel like no matter what, that Series 3 AEW Orange Cassidy is going to be like the definitive Orange Cassidy figure. Next up, we got John Moxley. Um, of another pretty much all black figure. Uh, it says that this is from Dynamite, February 24th, 2021, in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, and the picture depicts what the figure's wearing, which I like. Which I like. And um, he's got mocks on his pants, a black jacket. I mean, I think they did pretty decent with his paint applications. However, I'm looking at the hair. I don't know if you can see it on camera but it's almost like the paint is bleeding off of where the hair is. The hair is sculpted, and there's like a light shadowing around it. And I don't really like that. Not a good paint application. Uh, it appears he does not have interchangeable hands. Black boots, black tights, sorry, black pants, black jacket, and yeah, again, in pretty much all black figure. Next up. Wow, this has got, this might be the, the winner. This might be the star of the set, I gotta say. Trent. This is a great looking figure. And this is from um, August 5th, 2020 in Jacksonville. Wow. 
So it's got like the fake Bill Murray on the knee, the splatter paint, the spirals, the Trent on the jacket. Again, mostly black, uh, black attire figure. But I think that this may be up there as one of like the top five best AEW unrivaled, AEW unmatched jazz wears head sculpts. I mean, that is, that's freaking Trent. And for the, I don't want to hear anybody say, oh, Mattel does better. Go look at Mattel's head scan for Trent. It don't look like this. This is a great head scan. Um, and the paint apps on it are perfect. That's the thing. A lot of us, we, we, we will trash a head scan. Sometimes the head scan is great, but the paint applications just ruin it. A combination of great head scan, great head sculpting, and a great paint application brings you a figure that is uncanny and looks just like the real thing. And that's what we have here. I think this is phenomenal. I think this is one of the best. Um, I don't want to say the best, because they, they have some ones that are really just out of this world, but this is, this is definitely, I think for me, a top five head scan in the AEW Jazzwares um, line. I mean, even looking at that on camera, looks phenomenal. Great job on that Jazzwares. I think this is the winner for me. And last but not least, we're finally starting to get a women's division as far as figures are concerned, as far as figures are concerned. Um, and here we have, I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm thrilled. Every single one of these is in mint condition. Thank you, Ringside Collectibles. Um, we have Chris Statlander. And one of my favorite things about this, okay, is how she is posed in the packaging She's kind of leaning onto that one hip. I love that. This is from April 14, 2021 in Jacksonville, Florida. She's got the KS on her um, top. She's got the, the yellow, um, whatever you would call that, I guess, ribbons down, down her right leg. Her left leg has the um, other tattoos. She's got both tattoos on her side. I think the, um, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. She's got the, the knee brace. Her tattoos on her left hand, are pretty well done. I have a little bit of a qualm with um, her right arm, her right shoulder tat. It's like pure black ink, which as we know, no tattoo, even when they use black ink, it doesn't look black, black, black. Like her tattoo is as black as her boots and her knee pad and her, and her trunks. Um, she's got like these snake skin boots, which are really cool. She's got the blue in her hair. She's got the green paint on her face with her lip piercing. Not the best head head um, sculpt as far as like paint applications, as I said, like it's, you need a combination of both, but I do think it's a great figure and it's very colorful and it makes me believe that that is why the rest of this set really isn't that colorful. A lot of deco hits went into this one. So the other ones had to be sacrificed a little bit. Awesome set. Now this always spells something. So let's, I'm gonna turn these around and see what they spell. So we have here, okay, so we have the first six. It spells Champy, so the you know, there's eight figures in each set, it's gonna spell Champion. It's gonna spell Champion. C-H-A-M-P-I. So together, all eight would spell Champion. I'm gonna give this set a solid seven. A solid seven out of 10. There's no bad figure here, there really isn't. The Chris Jericho, I, I love that we have a pain maker. It looks great. Um, you know, it, it, the, the thing that's killing Moxley, Jericho, and Orange Cassidy, and people overlooking it and saying that they quote unquote suck, is the fact that they've just gotten figures before and arguably better figures before. Um, so I think that's why they're overlooked. I do think Trent is the star of this set. I think it's the best figure. Chris Statlander is, is very close behind, and Chucky e. T is behind them. I did not like the head scan on Chucky e. T. However, in person, I do think it's great. I am not a big screaming head sculpt fan. I would always prefer neutral, but seeing this in hand, I think it's a great figure. So, 
Yeah, so picked up some cool things from Epic Mail Call today. We got Chris Jericho, Moxley, Orange Cassidy, Trent, Chucky e. T, and Chris Statlander from AEW Unrivaled 8. From Target, we got Legend Series 13, Cowboy Bob Orton. I still need Triple H, still need both Jake Roberts, but uh, I know Triple H just shipped today. And Jake Roberts will probably ship soon. I'm hoping, I ordered two, I'm hoping I get one of each, but who knows, so. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, at FigHeel. Pick up the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist right here, and we will see you later. Comment below. Let me know what your favorite figure is from AEW Unrivaled 8 and from Legends 13. Let's talk about this, guys. Have a lot of fun chatting it up. See you next time. Have a good one, guys. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel? AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between, then you need Fig Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, a 500 plus page guide to over 40 plus years of wrestling figure collecting. As heard on the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, it features WWE, WWF, WCW, ECW, TNA, NJPW, AEW, Ring of Honor, AWA, Dragon Gate, CMLL, AJPW, AAA, and more. Professionally organized so you can keep track of mock, loose, value, and much more. Big Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fig Heel. Check out my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Head over to Heroes Hideout for all your figure needs and use code Fig Heel at checkout to save 10%.